everyone and welcome to my tutorial today. I'll be showing you how to make some digital planner stickers. If you haven't checked out my site yet, there are lots of freebies and other tutorials on there. So take a look. Um, you can sign up for my freebie vault um, using this form on the website. I also have a shop in Etsy called Color Co Designs. I'll link it in the bottom for you to check it out. Um, currently, I'm taking a break, but there are things on there for sale, and I do a lot of behind the scenes and tutorial and updates uh, about my shop on YouTube, so you can follow along here. So today I want to do a tutorial on how I make digital planner stickers. Um, this is a very easy tutorial and I'm using Canva. It is a web-based uh, program, so you don't need to download anything. I do think they have a desktop version, but I really like working on a browser because I can work anywhere pretty much. Um, so I am currently using Canva Pro, which um, has a lot more features than the free version. Uh, I have used the free version for a long time and it's worked great for me, but specifically for digital stickers that you want to use, if you want to use uh, transparency, that means uh, you have to pay for the uh, paid version, the pro version, because uh, the free version wouldn't let you download PNGs with transparent backgrounds. But if you're planning to just make labels and inserts, it works really great. And it's amazing how much you can get out of this um, on the free version. So today I just want to go and um, create uh, labels and stickers and show you how my process is. So for things like labels, like headers for your stickers, I usually go um, with a custom size and I would do something in inches. It just helps me imagine the dimensions a little bit more. So I usually go 2 by 0.5 and this is the... Um, size it'll come out to so it looks pretty much like uh, the ones you would get in other sticker shops um, and if something that you want to change you can always resize it here um, this resize automatic resize feature is also uh, a pro feature so uh, there are other workarounds to resizing your uh, graphics and your design in the free version but there's you just have to do a little bit of work around like copy all your images and paste it into the new size but um, with the pro version you just get to streamline your process a little bit more by doing it right in the design file so say I wanted to make it a little bit wider this is what it would look like I can resize and it'll be a little bit skinnier and shorter um, but right now I think I want to keep it as this so I'll resize it back so as a label it's pretty straightforward what I would do is choose a background I have a palette here so let's just work with the palette for now um, so just one click and you get your background and for text, I will choose the heading. And let's just say I want a work heading. So, oops. Just make it a little bit smaller. That's my heading. And this is great because they also have this positioning tool it just helps straighten things out very easily. And um, one of my favorite features is also this duplicate button, so you can just duplicate 
do it quickly. And then I'm ready to go for school. And this is grayed out because it's already centered and in the middle. And so I can duplicate as many as I want really quickly. So I've already made three labels here already. And um, the other one could be meals to do um, groceries and exercise and right now I have six so um, yeah, this is pretty much all the work you need to do if you wanted to make your labels. Um, so here are a few tricks that you can do to uh, customize your work. So to change the color on here, there's a very easy tool um, that comes with it. Say you just want white and because there's all these um, black font it senses it and it tells you down here that um, you can change all the blacks to white so this saves so much time instead of going through each of those and you can go change all and it changes all the colors for you instantly and I love this feature because it just saves me so much time and say I want these ones to be different colors so I can always go to my palette and change it like this and alternate colors like that and say I want to change all this color to I don't know gray and then this also change notices that that color is here for the background and this is a new color and you have the option to just change all the colors to gray and so if I go change all they'll just automatically change the next one to the new color and this saves so much time if you have like five other different ones and you don't have to go into them individually to change your colors so I don't really want to use this color right now so I'll just change it back and it'll sense it and it changes it back. Um, I'll also put these up as freebies so you can test how um, the quality is like for these stickers and uh, I assure you they're the best way to make stickers um, using Canva. So the next step that you'll need to do is pretty much just download it um, I made it the size it is because then I don't have to do extra cropping. Um, before I used to make a rectangle and color all this, um, and color the rectangle within a canvas and that actually took more time because, um, I needed like the transparent background and everything. And this one you can actually do on a free version without any issues because this is the background you don't need to change it to transparent background um, and it'll just come out as the labels that you want so we don't need to check off the transparent background here and just select PNG and then it'll download all the files all the designs into one zip file and so this is This is what it looks like. And they are ready to go. Um, if you want to go a step further, you can rename this to work. So you know what label these are. And school. And so forth. So yeah, this is as easy as it is. And I really recommend doing it this way if you're making stickers for yourself or if you're making stickers to sell. Um, it saves a lot of time just cropping um, your design 
on a big sheet. And as for um, graphic images, um, like graphic stickers, I usually go and create an Instagram post size, which is a square size, so or a logo size. Um, maybe we'll just do. I'll do Instagram because it's a bigger size, and I'll show you how it works. Um, this one um, is handy if you have the pro version because you would want the transparent background in your images. And what I really like about this is it saves you time from cropping and a lot of images are actually in somewhat of a square shape or rectangular shape. So it works well um, for cropping. And they have a lot of uh, nice graphics here if you're just using it for personal use and say if you're selling you can probably use it if you alter the design a little bit and so um, let's try uh, some notes so a note pad and they have a lot of cute designs here that you can also um, customize so let's say you do this one, it'll actually let you change things to your color scheme. So if I make it as big as the canvas, then um, once it becomes a transparent PNG, uh, you'll just have less cropping to do. Say I want my paper here, the yellow part to be gray. So it'll change to gray. Um, I actually do like this kind of yellowish color. And the tape can be pink. And this shadow part can be a little bit more gray. So that's one sticker or widget that I've just created. And then you can add more down here. Um, let's add Um, another note pad, actually sticky note, I have a lot of designs here, and let's pick another one to use, uh, this one looks good, it's a cute design. So if you have your own color palette, um, this is really great because then you can change all the colors to um, the ones that you that would match your branding or your color scheme. So all you need to do is go here and the dark spot, we're going to leave it gray and we're going to make this notepad. And the line white. And this part is just the texture color, so I'll be able to leave it at that color. And now this is ready for use. And I'll just do another one here. Like this. Change the notepad color to brown. The sticker can be pink and this can be gray. So that's pretty simple and then I'll download it again this time using the transparent background. And then download your designs you'll get your Transparent PNGs, and they'll look like this. And that is pretty much it. This is my very simple tutorial on how you can make digital stickers using Canva. Um, 
really no design skills needed. And if you have your own design, this is also great because then you can just plump your designs in here and um, export it as transparent backgrounds. It really helps uh, with uh, streamlining things and saving time. So yeah, highly recommend Canva if you're a novice. Uh, you can also just create things out of shapes uh, that they have here. Uh, they have lots of options. You can create whatever you want. Um, and yeah, it's a super useful tool. I highly recommend it. Uh, and these stickers will be available in the link below so you can give it a try um, and free for you to use. So hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I will see you next time.